Hello traders and welcome to another video where we talk about useful candle formations and price action. And in this video you will learn how to trade the hammer candle and also the shooting star candle. And these are reversal price action techniques. So let's look at what we'll cover. So hammer and shooting star candles are ways of spotting a reversal. So we're going to go over what is a hammer candle, how to use it, what is a shooting star candle and how to use that, and an example of some setups with these candles. So let's begin with the hammer. Okay, so what is a hammer candle? So the hammer, because it's the shape of a hammer, indicates that buyers have overpowered the sellers. So what we have is we have a trend let's say coming down here we have this candle which closed weak and as this new candle opened it went down it sold off and then it went right back up and closed at the high here leaving this wick below and this body above and that creates the hammer shape and that indicates that although we had selling, the buyers overpowered the sellers and the result was a close higher. So this is used as a buy setup. So when you're looking to buy, when a trend is coming down and you're looking for that key moment when it's going to reverse and go back up and you're going to place your buy setup, you're going to look for this hammer. Uh, it's an important candle and when it does appear that gives a strong indication of what's happening in the market. So you need to look for the hammer in the following ways. So first of all it must close as near the top as possible. In this case we have a little wick here However, the best hammers do not have a wick and they look something like this. And what we have is a small body and what we have is a long wick which is at least double the size of the body. The longer the wick, the better. Then we can say that this candle can be used as an indication that it's also time to exit because if you were selling, say from somewhere around here, and the market moved down, we now had this clear buying pressure. We can now say that, okay, the market is perhaps not likely to go further down because now the buyers have come in, overpowered the sellers, and perhaps it's time to exit the trade. So that is another way to use the hammer. And again, stick to those hammers with a strong bullish close and not bearish. Sometimes, in this case, the candle closed above its opening price, but we may have a hammer which opens here, if this is a bearish candle, just like this one. And then we have a hammer where the price opens here, trades down and closes weaker. So if we imagine this is a black candle, here was the open price and here was the closing price. So although it is a hammer, the price still closed lower than the previous candle and lower than uh, lower than the open. So these are a weak hammers. So it's best to stick with these type of hammers where the price closes above, it closes bullish. And as another note, two hammers in a row in succession is also a fantastic sign. So after this one, Let's say, for example, we had 
another one printed like this. So we have two in a row. Or we can also have a hammer where the candle closes, opens here, trades, trades down, and closes right at the top here. So again, we have these two, and that would be fantastic. Okay, so now let's have a look at some examples of what it looks like on the chart. Okay, here we have the pound dollar on the daily chart. We have a trending market, and we have identified in our setup that we have a market which is now beginning to range, to slow down. We can see that we also have an area, a zone, and we are looking for the reversal in this area. Now, what we can see here is that we do see some indication of a reversal. However, there was no hammer and this is not a strong reversal price action confirmation. So we wait for further confirmation and we can see that the market continued to range, made another push down and then this hammer was created. So we can see that on the first time we do not have that confirmation and then we waited patiently and then we do have that confirmation. So in this case we can now look to place the buy, the stop loss below and then take profit and this will be our trade. And here is another quick example. In this case we are looking for a trade continuation. So we have the market trending up. We are now looking for that retracement down and the market to continue in the buying direction. So now that we have seen this retracement, we now wait for confirmation of a reversal. Again, perhaps we have an area where we've marked out. Perhaps we have other confluences like Fibonacci's. And what we can see is that the area that we have tried to spot a reversal, we have this hammer candle here, which would indicate a reversal. In this case, it did not close right at the top. However, it is still a hammer candle formation. And what we can do is for further confirmation, wait for the next candle to close bullish. And that will be our trade. It's further confirmation and a take profit above. So that is the hammer formation hammer candle stick pattern. Okay, so now let's look at the 